Hey girlies, it's me and it's a Friday night and I'm really happy today because um, it's 9pm and I'm home after doing my nails and I even had dinner outside New Year, new me! Okay, anyway, check out my nails I did um, a classic gel Manny and Paddy at Far East It was just some random shop that I walked in because like I don't like making appointments I don't like to commit myself to like a shop or a timing Yeah, I just don't like it So I just wanted to walk in Yeah, and I saw this shop that was quite empty They look free, so I just walked in And look at the colour I chose, it's so pretty I chose pink blue and it's glittery I think you can't really see But it's glittery And I chose it because it's my birthday month And my favourite colour is blue It's very me so I thought I would do blue colour As for my toenails um, I got it in my usual, you know, beigey, creamy colour It's very neat And it's so nice that um, When a lady walked in after me She was like saying Oh, her one looks very nice, what colour is it? Then she got it It's like, what can I say? I have good taste Okay, but actually sorry This is not even a point of video And it's one minute plus Talking about my nails Actually today I wanted to show you guys um, what I got from Dior it's, um, It was my third purchase of 2023 Last year, my year of Dior And honestly, when I first got that bag right I told myself and I told Ins This is my first and last Dior purchase But no, it wasn't And now I'm making a third Dior unboxing video on my YouTube channel Okay, so this time round, I managed to get the Christmas packaging right when I bought it because it wasn't out of stock And I didn't request for it but surprisingly, not surprisingly but coincidentally This time round, I got it in this pink colour thing The previous one I got was blue which is my favourite colour but I already have it so I totally don't mind getting another colour It's so pretty, I really love this, not this year sorry, last year 2023's Christmas packaging that like you would think I would love the 2022 one which I'll put here because it's like blue but honestly I just love 2023's one more it's like so pretty so like oh, it's just so nice so elegant and all I love it love it and like the fact that it comes in different colours like wow I really love the Dior Beauty one as well and I was so tempted to just buy some random Dior Beauty thing just to get the bag but I told myself that's dumb lah because I really don't need any like beauty skincare products whatsoever so I resisted the temptation but if it happens to fall on my lap I don't mind, I'll take it Yeah. so okay sorry this is 3 minutes long already and I've only shown you the beautiful packaging look, it's a nice little ribbon okay Sorry, I just love sniffing the bag because they spray the signature set and it's just so, mmm, so nice. Okay, let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so do I have to take this out? I don't think I have to. It's just a little ribbon. Um, and I think the box should be small enough for me to not untie the thing. Okay, let me uh, take things out. This is just my receipt I don't want to see it again but I will Yeah, so let's see what it's called It's called the Custom Jewelry WCJ Earrings No idea what it is But I only know it as the Dior Tribals Earrings Yeah, so it's just a receipt And honestly right, for this pair of earrings I've seen it for quite a while now, like maybe a few months I don't know where I've seen it, honestly Maybe like, just people like on Instagram When I watch people's vlogs and whatsoever Then I notice them wearing this pair of earrings And I thought to myself, it looks very nice But I always told myself I'm never gonna be a dumbass who buys like uh, What do they call it? Costume jewellery From luxury brands Cause like, okay Babes, we know they are not known for lux they are not known for jewelry. If you want jewelry, like if you want luxury jewelry, it's like I don't know, Van Cleef, Tiffany and Cole, Bulgari. Is that what you call it? Bulgari? 
Yeah, so it's like, what the heck, why buy something from Dior when they're known for like bags, the most famous one, right? Oh, she threw me a little cute little bag too. So cute. Come on, look. It's a green one. Oh my god, now I have it in blue. Sorry, I don't have it with me right now. It's like under my bed somewhere. And I have a little box that my other SA gave me, which is in... Actually, it look like this one. I don't use the same, but it look like this. And now I pink. And is this green? Ah, so pretty! Oh, I love it. I just love this year's packaging. I hope next year's, I mean this year's one is ugly. So I won't be tempted to get it. But it is pretty. It is pretty. Yeah. Okay, so where was I? I was talking about the earrings, yeah. So I told myself, no, if I want to spend money on jewellery, I'll get it from a brand which is known for the jewellery. But I really couldn't stop thinking about these earrings. And then, and then, my sign was when I watched Singles Inferno, and one of the participants wore the freaking Dior earrings. Then I was like, oh my god, this is a sign. It is a sign. Because, you know, when when I bought the Dior bag, you know who was, who was the first person I saw wearing that bag? Bam, it was a person from Singles Inferno too. So I was like, girl, this is a sign. And you know what? It was a sign because you know what? When I went to the um, MBS store, I actually, I didn't make any appointment with my um, existing SA. I did have one where, who I bought the slides from. But it was just a random walk-in. So I did like go and like text him or make an appointment with him. So I got paired with this new, I mean new to me, SA who was so nice. So like, it was great. I got to meet a new nice SA and this one she gave me the pretty bag. She threw in a free one for me. Super nice. And I actually right another thing was I another sign, self-proclaimed sign to myself was I saw from the website that oh my god for Christmas they had this cute little special packaging. Honestly now when I see it, it looks very meh but it's special they were they had this like special round packaging which looks like the you know the tribals they all tribal series of earrings they all have this like signature pearl bolly thing so i think this is supposed to like mimic that or like be a tribute to that hey, but honestly when i look at it now uh, the packaging is very mad like the material but it's unique long it's like you won't really see it because the normal packaging for their earrings is just a normal square box so my SA they say like, are you sure you don't want a Christmas box? Cause it's like, it looks like this, but in a box version. But then I told her, actually I have the box already lah, from like another time, which I do. So I thought like, if I already have the box, why not I get this, which is like something special, right? So, oh my god, that's, let's unbox this for my earrings. Um, how do I open it? Oh, I was trying to twist it. I don't know why. You just have to lift it. Okay, so honestly, honestly, it's a very kind of flimsy, lightweight packaging, but it's okay, it's okay. It's just for the vibes. Oh, what is this QR code? I'll scan it later. Ooh. So yeah, it's just a normal box. So you just close it, open it like this. Yep. Oh, look at this cute little Dior pouchy. Yeah, so... Actually, I don't know if this is unique or so. Like, is it that the normal um, earrings come with like the flap kind of pouch? Like, this one looks quite unique to me too. Like, it's a cute little draw, mini drawstring bag. I'll do a bit more research to see like what people usually get. But I believe it's the... It's not this bag. Usually... Okay, let's see it. It's a really cute pouch. Like it even has a like compact. I don't think you can see. There's like a divider, so you put one on one on each side. Like one is here, the other one is here. Okay, I'm just gonna take out one. I don't see the need to show two. I I don't want to wear it now, cause like I want to wear it like after I clean and sanitize my ears and all that. So I just came home, so my ears are dirty. Yeah. And these are the earrings. For some reason, I don't know if it's the lighting. The pearl. 
suddenly doesn't look as nice in real life. I don't know if you can see on camera, but in real life it looks a bit not as white. But it's fine. Is that how, how the color is supposed to be? And this is the classic Dior Tribals earrings that I got. So initially, this is the most classic one I think. But initially I was considering other designs. Because the one thing I didn't like about this uh, was on the website. I'll put a picture here. The This brand logo here, right? It looks very like... It's supposed to be like vintage, rusty looking, but I didn't really like it. Like, why would I pay money for something that looks old? I mean, it's a vintage style, but that's not what I'm into. So then I was like, mm, I want something that's a bit more like gold gold. But actually, uh, when I went to the store and I saw it, it looks fine to me. Like, it's not as rusty looking. So this is how it would look like when worn. So it's a stud kind of earring. I saw that they have clip-ons for people who don't have piercings, I suppose. I don't really want to take it out. I don't want to like keep, you know, wear and tear. But yeah, the, you take out the stud here and then you just wear it. So, eh, hey, sorry. Is it correct? Is the... Wait, I'm getting confused. You know, for a moment. Wait, I'm confused. So initially I was doing this, right? But that's wrong, right? I think the big pole is supposed to go behind. I'm a dumbass. Is it? I think that's the case. Hey, actually, I don't know. I'm being a dumbass right now. Is it like this? The big pole in front? Or the small pole in front? You know what? If I take this out, we will know. I'm trying to be really careful and not destroy it. How do I take this out carefully? Ugh. Oh. Ah, right, right. So I was wrong. Okay, so you see it works like this, right? So your mini stud is supposed to go in front. By the way, I just have a... I just realized a question after I spent money on this, which is my ears are very sensitive. So actually normally, I can only wear sterling silver um, earrings. I mean, that's the only one I've worn since it's like relatively cheaper. I don't know what else my ears can wear, okay? So far, I only know sterling silver that won't like itch or irritate my ears. So actually, this one. I have no idea what material it is, but I hope it doesn't irritate my ears. But in any case, this won't be like an everyday wear kind of thing. Oh my god, it's 12 minutes long. This won't be an everyday wear kind of thing. So if I wear it like once a week, it should be fine. Oh yeah, okay. So mystery solved. Actually, one thing I didn't really think about is this is kind of gross in the sense that okay you know normal ear studs are uh, girlies you would know like you can clean them pretty well because you see the end of the studs the thing that points out right you can easily access it like example this part here you can easily access it and just wipe it and clean it this part like it goes inside here so if there's any dirt or whatever trapped inside this hole you can't clean it not really. So you really have to make sure whenever you take it out, you really clean this properly before you stick it back in. Yeah. So, in any case, I'm actually a bit scared now. I really didn't think this through it. I only care about the aesthetic. One thing I'm very worried about is like when I pull this thing right out, it kind of requires a lot of force lay. So I'm quite scared of like if someone pull this. Oh, but please tell me I paid so much, right? They better make sure this thing sticks to this thing very well, okay? But I will try to be careful lah. But any anyway, now we figured out a big pearl it's supposed to be behind. I think that's the usual style lah, so it makes more sense lah. So the small one is supposed to be in front. So, question of the day. Do you think it's dumb to like wear this kind of like logo earrings or whatever accessories? They're basically advertising the brand like, oh hey, look at me, I'm wearing a Christian Dior earrings. But I really like it. I really like the pearl design and this gold thing. And I'm a Dior girly. I love Dior. So you know what? I don't care. Life is short. Let me wear the earrings that I want. So yeah, thanks for sticking through if you are still here. It has been a a freaking 14 minute long video just for a pair of your small earrings but thanks for unboxing with me thank you bye bye hey friends just wanted to show you guys how the earrings look when worn let me take out my airpods 
So it looks really nice. Just that I didn't really think this through when I bought it. I didn't think of how it might be a little bit heavy. But thank god it's not very heavy. So there's some weight but I guess it's good because like if it drops, you know you just drop like hundreds, few hundred dollars on the floor. Yeah. So yeah, I love it.